Well, hello. Today is Wednesday, November 25th, the day before Thanksgiving. I've already started getting my preparations ready for tomorrow, even though it's just going to be Jim and I. But like I said, I'm sending out my porch pickups. But we have a birthday. Today is Gail Doherty, D-O-H-E-R-T-Y. It's Gail's birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear gay all. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Hope you have a great day. Today is my nephew Steve's uh, 40th birthday, but he doesn't watch my channel. So I gave him a, a greeting. Um, I sent him a text because he's not even on Facebook. And I texted him and wished him a happy birthday. I, um, I'm feeling a little bit better today. I'm a little bit. Um, more optimistic and I'm uh, feeling a little bit better. I think that once Thanksgiving is over I'll be okay for a couple weeks until Christmas approaches <laughs> but I'm going to try to overcome that too because uh, I'm just um, I, I can't dwell on things it's just it just makes me sad so it's not it's not worth dwelling on it just isn't so um, I don't like parades anyhow I always remembered because uh, there's, I think they're going to do a virtual parade tomorrow, which I don't know. I just I don't get that. I always remember my kids always look so were so excited about going to the uh, parade every year. I never went with my kids because I hated going with my father. Oh, we would go every year, and I know it was because my mother needed some time alone to get the Thanksgiving meal ready. But we would go down to the parade, and we'd get there. And we would park so far away, so far away. And we'd walk for blocks, blocks. And when you were a little kid, it probably seemed like miles, and it was probably only two blocks. But to me, it was like we were walking three miles uphill both ways. It really was. And then we would get there, and you couldn't see because we weren't close enough. And I never saw Santa Claus, never, not one time, because we had to leave before Santa Claus got to the that point in the parade because we had to beat the traffic and get home. So I don't have good memories of going to a parade, none at all. But my kids used to look so much forward to it, and they'd get up the night, you know, get ready the night before, and they'd have their boots and their snow pants and their uh, Wonder Bread wrappers <laughs> because we used to put our shoes in the Wonder Wrapper and then slide it into the boot because it made it easier to get in and out, and it kept your foot, your foot dry too. And, uh, and then they would give all of their stuff, and they'd go really early in the morning, They'd leave when it was dark so that they could get a good spot. My brother Michael and my brother Pat used to bring scaffolding from work, and they'd go out uh, there the night before, and they'd build their own little bleacher section for the, everybody to sit on. And then they would get there before the crack of dawn with their thermoses of hot chocolate and the donuts and some cookies and some little, like, sandwiches and things. And uh, everybody always thought that... Um, it was like the parade had put it up, and my brother would always say, I, I built this myself. This is reserved for my family. <laughs> and then my family would show up, and they'd sit in the bleachers, and they'd watch the parade, and they got to see Santa Claus go by. And then they'd come home, and we'd usually eat our Thanksgiving dinner about 2 o'clock. We'd go to my mother's, actually, and we'd all go over to my mom's, and we'd have Thanksgiving there. We'd stay there all day. She'd make turkey soup, and then we'd stay there at night and have turkey soup for dinner with turkey sandwiches. Good memories. It was really good memories. So, this year I got to live on those memories, I guess. But uh, it's just this one year because I really, I just know that next year will be better. Once again, just know, I just know. But and I always think of when Tracy from Trials of a Long Hair Girl talks about when she goes to the airport. That was another thing we used to do all the time. We'd go to the airport to watch the airplanes take off and land. City Airport in uh, Detroit. It was just a small little airport, and it was mostly just private little airplanes that went, you know, it wasn't like big commercial jets. It was just small private jets or private airplanes. And uh, boring. It was so boring. But my dad loved it. He just absolutely loved it. He'd, my mother would pack us a little picnic lunch, and we'd go there and watch the planes take off and land. No, not for me. But uh, anyway... Uh, oh, I'm going to show you a clip. We went to pick up the turtle cake. Um, I already taken orders for the cake. Denise is going to take some for her family. Um, Christy wants some for her and Aaron and Sophia. And Jimmy wants some from him and Samantha. So I'm going to have my slice of cake and 
all the rest is going to go out the door. And then while we were there, um, Jim bought himself a Sleeping Beauty, and I um, didn't have any. I thought, nope, I'm going to have my turtle cake tomorrow. Uh, I recognize that I'm feeling sad and food is not going to work for me as far as making me feel better. Although, really, it would probably, in that moment, make me think I was feeling better. But in the long run, I'd be feeling guilty that I ate it and then I'd be mad at myself that I ate it. And I would think, why did you do that? You know, you're trying so hard to lose weight and then you're doing this. It's, you know, so I recognize that. I recognize that tomorrow I'm going to really look forward to having my piece of cake and uh, enjoying my Thanksgiving dinner. Seeing my family as they pick up their porch pickups. <laughs> at least I'll get to see them. I mean, you know, it's not like I'm not going to see them at all. I, I'll see them from a distance. And then uh, just know that things will get better. Uh, Jim and I were talking about the uh, putting up the Christmas decorations. I told him that I wasn't sure what I, how much I was going to put up. And he always thought I went overboard anyhow. If you've ever looked at any of my past videos, I do tend to go a little bit overboard. I'll even admit that. But uh, he says, you know, it wouldn't hurt to scale back just a little bit. <laughs> so uh, I know for sure I'm going to put my tree up. I know for sure I'm going to put my nativity set up. I know for sure I'm going to put my uh, advent reef up in the kitchen. I think I'm going to decorate my dining room table. But And then I made a ceramic Christmas tree years and years ago. I'm going to put that ceramic Christmas tree out. But other than that, I, I don't know that I'm going to put my Christmas village out. Um, we'll just see how the mood strikes me because, you know, I don't know. Maybe once I start putting it out, I'll feel a little bit better about it. But for now, I don't know. It just... So. But anyway, uh, for dinner, or for breakfast, I had my fruit platter. And I had some I had two slices of toast. And uh, I had some bacon and egg. I had just one hard-boiled egg and a cup of tea. I didn't eat any lunch. And then for dinner, we're having... We had a roast last night, so we're going to have leftover... Um, roast beef and I have some carrots and um, cauliflower and broccoli left over and some little bit of mashed potatoes. So that'll be my dinner. And then I'm looking forward to having my turkey tomorrow. So um, I'm going to put a little clip because somebody, what I, um, Joan at Joan's Pointed Plate had to ask me what a Sleeping Beauty was. She never heard of it. I'm sure a lot of people have not I don't know why they call it a Sleeping Beauty, but it's like a little cake that's about the size, a little bit bigger than a Twinkie, and it's chocolate cake with a fudge frosting with the buttercream inside. It's delicious. I really wanted one, but like I said, no, I've recognized that I can't have it, and uh, and, I, and I survived. Jim had his already, and I, and I survived, so... It's, it's out of the house. I can't even be tempted to have him tell me, ask me to let me have a, a, a bite of it. Nope, not going to do it. So uh, I'll do a really quick Thanksgiving video tomorrow, but um, I haven't even checked to see if there's any birthdays. I know it's my brother Michael's birthday, but I'm sure somebody's birthday is tomorrow. And I'll sing happy birthday and just check in with you. So um, if I don't see you tomorrow, have a happy Thanksgiving. And as always, stay safe. And here's a picture of, uh, or a bit, little video of the turtle cake, which is a chocolate cake with buttercream frosting that's dripped, drizzled with caramel and fudge frosting, and then the uh, Sleeping Beauty. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, we picked up our turtle cake for tomorrow, which is a chocolate cake with buttercream frosting, swirled in caramel and hot fudge. And Jim got for himself for today, a Sleeping Beauty, like I always tell you about. And it's like a Twinkie somewhat. Let me cut it in half. That's what the inside looks like. Not for me, though. I'm going to have my slice of turtle cake tomorrow and send the rest home. But Jim's going to eat his Sleeping Beauty now.